used for calculations and they came up with a 4004 and well the rest is history so is there something fishy going on with your connection to the web have you noticed that for instance BitTorrent doesn't seem to be working right or you can't send out email because your email outgoing email port 25 is blocked Mike Lazazar apparently has been breaking all the rules on his internet service provider and he's figured out a way to get around these roadblocks first of all you should ask your internet service provider if this is a violation of their terms of service, I suppose. So maybe. Depends. I've been doing this for actually a couple of years now because I have uh, domains um, like uh, PlasticTrees.net and right. MikeLaz.com and I can't send email from them because... This is very common now yeah. because they're, they don't want they want you to use uh, the their internet service provider's own servers, exactly. not yours, because and, it's a, a spam. Well, exactly. And they want to pre prevent people from having spam bots on every machine on their right. network so they right. send out mail. So right. The, what they do is they block port 25 and say, well, if you, you upgrade to a business line for some of them, right. you can get access to this port right. 25. But I really don't want to give my ISP an extra 25 right. bucks a month. So there's two <laughs> ways about going about this. Um, there's a free way and there's a paid way. Okay. Uh, the free way is, of course, using Gmail. And because Gmail sure. uses different ports, um, they use non-standard. They use non-standard ports, um, and that and with Gmail you can make it look like you're actually sending it from Leoville.com, right? Um, within the configuration, so you don't. So that's, so that, that's a free way of doing yeah. it. Um, and then there's a paid way, which is I use. Um, it's called AUTHSMTP.com. Um, you pay for a package, a m amount of emails, and amount of uh, data transferred per month, and you can use this anywhere you go. Um, so I sign up for this, and they use I think port 2500, uh, and that's not blocked by any. ISP, right, right. and I can send mail easily through that. Right. So now let's say you're in college and uh, you want to play uh, World of Warcraft, maybe. And they right? block it. And they say you they can't say play that. No you're only using it for research, right? For that, yeah. um, another good example would be that uh, perhaps Bit you're within torrent. BitTorrent or, or peer to peer sharing. BitTorrent's blocked by a lot of people. Exactly. Or it's throttled down by a lot of them. They, right. they prevent so much uh, data from going through it at a certain right. point. Um, so there's, there's, again, a free and a paid way of doing this. Okay. Um, the, the free way would be using something like Public VPN. Um, it's a free VPN service that allows you to tunnel out. And most college and most networks recognize VPNs and say they're okay. Because they're normally used for business. They exactly. can't disallow that. Exactly. And, and then, for instance, in a college uh, environment, many professors would use that to log into their machines right. so that they could get information. Um, so usually that's, so that's a free solution for right. that one. How, um, how fast is public VPN? Is it okay? It's okay. It's slow. Yeah, again, with, it's free. You're not, you're not uh, again, get with any VPN service, you're going to slow down things, but right. at least you'll have access to it, right. uh, whereas you wouldn't have any access well, to it. Well, with this paid one that you're going to show, I don't find it slows me down at all. Uh, it's really I find fast. it slows a little little bit, oh like a little bit, like a yeah. little bump, but yeah. otherwise it's perfectly this fast. This is the service I this use. This is called Hotspot VPN. On your recommendation. And, and yeah, and it's, I've used it for quite a while. Whenever I go into any hotspot, uh, I make sure I yep. dump it up I'm real quick. I'm using it right now at the hotel. Yeah. And you know, Steve Gibson yeah. recommends it also. Yeah. I told him, you told me about it. I told Steve. Steve yeah. checked into it and he said, this is the greatest. Exactly. And then there's some other solutions too for both these problems. One is Hamachi, which uh, Steve Gibson's already told us about. Mm -hmm. um, and it allows you to get up to another machine. So for instance, if you're at college, you can go to your home machine. Right. And out through that if you right. wanted to. A lot of gamers use Hamachi as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then there's also another one is called... Is Hamachi running right there? Yeah, yeah. And that's my machine over there. That so can you can open. actually log into your machine as if it's local. Exactly. Um, again, you have to remember that there's transfer speed differences because right. you're going through another network, so you're going to have things slow down a little bit. The other, way, the other thing which uh, Steve Gibson actually told me about was Tor, which is uh, from the, the EFF. The Onion Router. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. from the EFF, and they, uh, it allows you to um, bounce through several different connections. Right. And, and you may have very success with each, each one of these. It depends on your ISP and you've got to uh, spend some time in there's minutes. usually some overhead. A well-designed system with fast servers won't be much like no. Hotspot VPN, but exactly. you pay for that. You have to pay for that, and you right. know it's, it's not too expensive. I think it's like eight bucks, eight eighty eight a month. Yeah, think, something yeah. Like that. So it's it's it's, it's, it's well not very it. expensive, and it's it protects your safety when you're both at college or somewhere where you can't right. access your right. normal. Well, I feel safe. I use it on my uh, Mac. It works very well on Windows. It's actually even easier to set up on Windows. Yeah. And whenever you use it, uh, not only can they not stop you from doing whatever you want to do. But they have no idea they have, It's safe. It's yeah. encrypted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all the way to the hotspot VPN yeah, servers. Exactly. So I really like it. Yeah. yeah. Some very good choices. Now, yeah. I know we rushed through this, but you have notes on the